Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and I like to make stuff. This video is me making a quilt, another one, um, because I have in fact been bitten by the quilting bug. <laughs> uh, it started with me going through and gathering all of my like fabrics that I have because if we're going to be honest the fabric um, storage is what takes up the most space of like what I have unfinished and what I have I want to do so um, and a lot of those fabrics I don't really want in dress form so here they are quilted uh, or going to be anyway <laughs> um, I have a whole bunch of quilts that I wanted to make, um, but to be honest, I was a little uh, jealous of the quilt I, I made a little bit ago for my friend, and so I wanted one, but I wanted to try out, I want, there's all these um, half square patterns that I want to try out, um, so I found my square tool for cutting, and uh, here I am just cutting out all these squares. Some of the leftover fabrics are like old sewing projects that I um, made mistakes on and did just lost interest in ever completing or fixing. Um, some were old dresses that just didn't look like the colors weren't right for my skin tone. Um, things of that nature in the in the fabric stash. And honestly, I have enough fabric that I could probably get a few more quilts. Just good because I have a lot of quilt ideas, but um, yeah, I figured I'd try to make this one for me. Um, I wanted it bright and colorful, so I went through my fabrics and I lined everything up, um, just kind of, kind of seeing what would go together. I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted, um, and then I do machine sew all of this, but uh. Originally, my plan was I was going to actually get this long arm quilted. Um, I've never had a quilt quilted like that before. Um, however, uh, in this process, I have been watching and learning a lot more about quilting in general. And I have discovered how um, beginner I really am, I guess. So um, there was a long arm quilting video that discussed how um, if there's any lumps or bumps it can really affect the quilting process of doing a long arm long arm quilting and so um the person that I was going to bring this quilt to does her own stuff like she's got her own projects so I didn't want to bring her <laughs> a quilt that still wasn't uh good enough I guess so I will wind up and am actually it's not finished um I am hand quilting this so um spoilers <laughs> but I didn't know that when I was making it so I uh and and honestly the fault is on me <clears throat> a lot of what I wound up doing was the same as the previous quilt video that I made. Um, you sew it, um, you, you put the two squares together and you sew two lines down the middle and then you cut it in half and you have your half squares. Well, um, you got to make sure you're sewing straight <laughs> and even. And um, I thought I could fudge things, but as I went along, I discovered um, no no you can't that original seat like sewing line is pretty important um because if your half square is smaller the smallest half square is ultimately going to be this what all of the others are going to need to be the size of um and so when one thing gets off the rest of it gets off i think i did pretty well at making do though so this was an old dress um, that I'm cutting and saving the buttons off of. I made this dress. It looked awful. <laughs> it was not salvageable. So I would rather have the fabric. I have so many dresses. I would rather have the fabric for a quilt instead. Um, 
I really have always loved the idea of scrap quilts. Um, I wish that I had documented, like, I think my first quilt that I ever made was when I was like nine and it was really awful. It did have a front and a back. Oh, so, you know, in case you were not a quilter, if you want to know officially to be a quilt, it has to have three parts, a front, a back and backing. Um, so technically summer quilts that don't have like, um, filling, um, aren't really quilts, but they are, um, depending. But, um, so the, the first one that I made <laughs> was, uh, made from an old dress that I really loved that was stretch fabric. So already I was not on a <laughs> winner there, but then the front of it was, um, all of these like loom made, things that they were like these nylon loomy things I had I had gotten as like um, a Christmas gift and so like there's these like um, what I think are colored nylon strips basically and you weave them together and so I made that into a quilt and it was awful <laughs> I am sure I have a photo somewhere um, but I don't have it I don't know if maybe my mom has it. I don't know where that quilt went. Uh, and then I tried again in my early 20s. Um, and I was really going off the, the <laughs> off of no knowledge whatsoever on uh, quilting. Other than like what I had read in historical novels. Um, and they did not turn out very well. Um, one was an art quilt that I tried and I mean, that one wasn't bad. It just didn't have any, um, filling. And so it was, I didn't, it wasn't, I think I threw it out at one point. Like I hated it. So I used it as like a paint, um, tarp at one point and then possibly my cat peed on it. And I was just like, eh, I don't need this taking up space. So I think that was the tossed. Um, I made some that I gave to friends <laughs> and uh, all of them, all of them are not even, I'm like, and all of my friends are so nice because they're like, oh no, they're great. I love these quilts, but I'm like, <laughs> if you actually look at the way that it's lined up, it's clear that it's tilted and been cut. And I think I even gave away a quilt that was not square. So like if you lay it out or if you try to fold it, those lines are not going to fold. Oh, goodness. But everybody tells me they still use the quilt. So, you know, I'm glad they're being used. And, they, you know, I learned a lot from the time from making those ones. Um, and I'm still learning, obviously. Uh, I would say that probably this top is the nicest I have ever made. Like all of my points are pretty good in the end. You'll see. Um, but I even have like one that I finished recently that was, um, I had mixed up my cut. So I had cut it and then waited a few years before I sewed it together. And so my cuts were off because I, uh, mistook the squares. And so I was cutting and putting the wrong squares in the wrong places. And as a result, it was completely off. Um, and so that one is, I have it on my bed now, but it is, uh, it is not even. And then when I went to quilt it, my stitches were too big and I didn't line it up properly. I had a pain in the butt trying to quilt it and so the back of it is all lumpy and um there's one part that's like <laughs> that's like oh my goodness um not laying flat basically like it's a pretty big chunk of fabric that does not lay flat at all on the back of it <laughs> but it's for me and you know what no one's gonna see it other than me um Here's a clip of me actually cutting apart that dress. Um, and yes, there were bits of fabric that were not being used, but those smaller bits I am saving. I, I want to do some smaller scrap quilts. And uh, 
I here's the layout of like I laid out every single one of these squares to make sure it looked good and also that's how it helps me put them together to sew them to make sure I'm not mixing up the layout at all um, because I've had so many issues in the past and it worked out I mean um, even though it's a pain to lay all of them out it is exciting to see the before and the after of uh, it being sewn together sorry this is not in focus I tried uh, but yeah, I ba I went through and I, um, I'm going to call this one Modin's Eye because it's Mod Fabrics, but it's, um, I want to call this square the Odin Eye. I don't think it actually is, but that's all I can think of in my head. Here, this is the clip of me laying it out to make sure that, you know, um, the backgrounds weren't the same and, and it, you know, wasn't right next to something. Um, and I wound up with four extra squares. Um, I took three of them out because those, I didn't like the fabrics with the um, chartreuse color, um, the background, that, that background fabric. So I may do something else entirely with those three blocks and then that chartreuse block, maybe I'll make into a, um, a pillow or something. I don't know. But yeah, those are the extras. So now it's all sewn together and... Um, because I was really worried about um, the blocks, they were, I did not cut them and square them with each other. And so I was really worried about those, those uh, blocks matching up. Um, so I actually did not sew it in strips. Um, I sewed the, the center squares to make sure that they were um, lined up properly be and, and to make sure that the um, points were lined up properly because I realized that that was going to matter more than anything else. Um, and honestly, I think it looks amazing. Um, it is warped and this is the main reason why I, I cannot bring this to be um, long-armed but because some of those blocks are warped with me trying to make sure that those the centers lined up now i can um quilt that out by hand quilting it but uh not for yeah not for the long arm i mean i'm sure that they could too and it's pretty even i would say there's really not much of a difference um top to bottom in like measurements so, um, like I said, I am still quilting this. Um, I am barely like four blocks into quilting. Um, and that's with me, um, doing other stuff. So I may have, um, another video showing you the quilting process, but here's the top. And honestly, I love it. Thank you so much for joining me um, in another video, and I hope you're making stuff too. Uh, like and subscribe uh, if you liked um, and want to see more, honestly, quilts. I'm pretty into quilting right now, so I'm, I may just be a quilting channel now. Who knows? All right. <laughs> Bye.